What is up, players? It is Warbots Tate up in this mug. Welcome to a showcase video of my Space Marine Blood Angels Captain in Terminator armor. That's this guy right here. You might remember him from a while back when I unboxed this guy, as well as the special Tyranids Gene Stealer Broodlord character. You get these guys from the Deathstorm kit, and uh, originally you did. I think you can get this guy now from Games Workshop. They've released him as a Blood Angels special character. You can get him in a clamshell pack, but I got him and uh, worked on him as a commission. I'm very, very proud of him. Check out the back here. The cape is highlighted from Abaddon Black. Instead of going with grays, I wanted to go with some nice cold blues. So Dark Reaper, perfect color to do that with. If you want to go with grays, then stick to um, some dark grays that have a little bit of brown in them, like Storm Vermin Fur. Um, those are, that's a really good color to highlight with. You'll notice the wire on the Thunder Hammer is... Uh, I made a choice to do one of those wires in yellow and black hazard stripes. That really breaks up the all that red and black on the model. When you're looking at a model, the first impression you get is that main color, that r bright red armor. And uh, the second one, for me anyways, when you look at the front and the back, is black. I get a lot of black from the uh, the casing on the thunder hammer there his the st strips of leather hanging down off of his uh, the front of his torso the bolter casing the left shoulder pad and the biggest part is this cape billowing behind him so i decided to do two things i wanted to make the cape a nice rich velvety black and that's by uh, you get that with that dark reaper rust gray combination and i wanted the black on the casing on the weapons to look more, I guess, um, hard and utilitarian. So for those, I highlighted that with Storm Vermin Fur, I think, and Dawnstone. You can get the full color recipe over at my Patreon. I'm going to link below. And you can really recreate this entire color scheme. If you are a Blood Angels player, if you are a painter and you've got a spare a space marine lying around, I mean, who doesn't? Then paint one up as a blood angel, you will be surprised. I had a lot of fun highlighting up the armor plates because the uh, guide that I followed, because I looked at a bunch of different ones. I looked at the old Heavy Metal Space Hulk masterclass with uh, Anya that she painted, Anya. And she did this crazy mix of like blood reds and, um, you know, I, I'll do that as a White Dwarf weekly with you. So you can really, really see what that was but I mean the, her color recipes are insane and I, I took a look at that there's a great website called uh, Tale of Tale of Painters I think that I used inspiration I picked and pulled different ones that I found worked for me so check it out it's on my patreon if you want to recreate this color scheme I go over every single mo uh, part of the model unfortunately it's not done in a tutorial fashion it's basically just listed like a recipe in a recipe book and uh, the reason for that uh, one of the reasons why my Patreon is, I'm trying to really focus on it, is because the lighting setup in my current studio is a little bit harsh and uh, not conducive to good tutorial filming. So I, I've got to switch out the bulbs, I, I want to get a new rig and lighting setup. All of this like new equipment is going to cost me money that I unfortunately don't have, but hey, who does? So if you feel like um, dropping a little tip in the tip jar, if you want to get onto my Patreon private feed where I'm going to be posting more color recipes, more uh, White Dwarf Weekly reviews. If you've been enjoying my Monday morning motivation, no mumblings with Mortarian, all of that is going to be up in my Patreon. And uh, you can get unlimited access to that for a minimum of $1 a month. I've also got some uh, sponsor videos that I'm going to be posting up soon, um, dedicated unboxings, tutorials, and all sorts of stuff. So I'm trying to make Patreon my new thing. And along with the website, along with the YouTube, and everything that I want to be getting m more into, again, I hope you'll follow me there. The, uh, the only other thing I can suggest to anyone painting Blood Angels is using a purple as a spot color is a great way to break up all those blood, blood droplets on the armor. You'll notice that I use purple as a blood droplet. I think Games Workshop did a great job of picking that color to use because it kind of complements the red it pops off of it so the wax seals on the purity seals the wax part you can see on his uh, left leg there I've got some wax 
painted in purple. The All of the blood droplets on my blood angels, they do really, really well if you paint them in purple. I also added a little bit of freehand writing on the front of his shoulder pad here. Let's take a look at that really quickly. Oop, sorry. So, right there on the front of his shoulder pad. Um, I think that was just Dawnstone thinned down, painted on really, really fine. In fact, I think I can, yeah, now that I'm holding it, I can zoom it in a little bit more. You can get a better picture of him. The uh, cool blue on his lens and his his little light there is a nice way of breaking up all that color and highlighting the gold with Runefang steel on the edges to really catch the light is good. Especially if you're doing gems, my final note is to use some art coat or some gloss varnish and paint them so they look nice and shiny. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. I hope, like I said, I hope you uh, have enjoyed this video. I hope if you are a Blood Angels painter or if you are considering it, you got a little bit of inspiration and some uh, some tips on how to do it. And yeah, thank you. I hope you all are having a great day and we'll see you in the next video.